Hey guys, almost addicted here, and today we're going to build this small starter survival village. As you can see, you can build one little village, or maybe you can expand it and make one with your friend. And obviously, the possibilities are endless with this, so hopefully, you get a little bit of inspiration from it. So, yeah. Right guys, so as you can see we've got a nice location here, the sun is just setting and um, you can turn this into like a little village, you could change the colours of these and stuff like that, so where I'm using oak you could use a completely different colour and you can change them around and uh, yeah you can use this as a base tutorial for like a huge little village that goes around a massive pond. Now you want to start your houses maybe about three away from the waterfront so you can get use any seed you like and as you can see we're using the campfires as this kind of like little jetty design which i kind of like so we've got three away here and um, so we can start with the campfires actually so we're three away and then you can just bring them out as far as you like so one two three four one two three four so five all together you want one on the actual surface and then you get some water potions to obviously put out the fire and um, now what I decided to do is kind of like uh, use some of the spruce fence and just do it either side so depending on how um, obviously deep your water is and um, that's how deep you will bring it underground I mean you can bring it up to the surface like that so it kind of looks like it's all joining together and it's just resting on there like that so you've got something like that or you could have something like this where you uh, stop it at that point and it's just got it underground or you could simply just have the low hanging bits like that you kind of get the idea you kind of want it lo looking like it's kind of joined on so I do something like that but you can obviously use logs either side as well now just as we're coming towards the water I'm going to end some here as well so I'm going to put that underneath so it looks like it's kind of joined on I've got a little bumblebee there um, so something like that and then at the front what I'm going to use is we can get some lanterns if you're in 1.16 or you can get some torches and just stick them on the end there and as I say you can have these all combined together so this could join into that and stuff uh, yeah so we're going to move back here and then we're going to grab some of the stripped out logs or whatever logs you're going to use for this house and we're going to count up one two in fact one two I use the actual logs one two three four five and then we're gonna have this so we're gonna make a door way here so you want a two doorway so you can go through there and as you can see on here I've had the one and then we've got a window above so that we can go like this now for this window I've decided to actually put two either side here so if you would like to do that I'll keep it plain so like that and then you can put your glass window in and then across the top you can finish it off with the oak and then we're going to grab our oak log again or stripped oak log and bring that up to five as well so we've kind of got like an a on the front and uh, now we're going to go around to the side here we can count one two three here one two three here and then we're going to bring these up to five one two three four five it should be level with that one two three four five now you can change this around what I decided to do here is just fill it up and make a little window on this right hand side here so this little window would be like this just like that and then we can grab our glass which I used the white stained glass but you can use the clear glass so it's entirely up to you so like that and then we're gonna have a doorway here so what we're gonna do is bring the oak up and just end it there and we can fill that side in that's where we're gonna have a door door wise I decided to go for the spruce so I'm going to grab the spruce door put it on there and uh, you can put it on the inside as well if you'd like if you want to look kind of like that but I kind of like it on the front like that and then around the back here right, this is where we're going to have a place for our bed so I'm going to count one two one two here and then one two three one two three and this is going to be too high altogether now if you would like you can put a little window in either side like this but if you want to keep it plain and safe on your resources you can do that as well and uh, we're going to have something going over that so we can fill this going over so obviously we need a two gap to be able to walk in we might as well fill it in the floor here with a bit of spruce or something like that it's nice and compact here 
but um, you can make kind of an underground base and you can keep adapting to this which is good and um, so at the back here what I decided to do is have just another one little window so we can go up and over and then we can place our one little window there and then everything else is kind of left for the roof now at this side here I decided to have just a little tiny window here and a two window here and then we've got these obviously so we've got our two window here so to do that we'll go one two have our two window at this side and then we'd have our one window there but you can change the window location it doesn't have to be there I don't know if it was right at the top that I didn't know that's perfect perfect like that and then outside I got some dirt or you can use grass whatever you like and then we're gonna get some of the spruce trap doors just fill it in like that and then obviously you can add some flowers and stuff so you could add something like just any flowers of your choice just to fill that in and then we've got our buttons of course I'm just placing a button going round like this and this is where it gets a little bit more tricky in the sense of we have to place all our trap doors around so we're gonna have a trap door on this window here we might as well do this front bit here so this is gonna start here as you can see we've got this going starting from the door and it's coming out by two by two so basically what we're doing here above the door crouch down one two one two over there and this is going to come all the way around and stop at that point where we've got the window so just above the window one two one two one two one two one two and then this is what we've got to do we've got to crouch down and then flip those up crouch down and just put them all the way across here flip those up and now we've got kind of like a little balcony at the front here I only decided to do one two flip those up and then the rest of them will keep them open so it's kind of like a bit more open plan so you can do your fishing so say if we take one out here we need to take one out here and place um, like a little stair you don't have to put that there it's more for fancy really so it kind of looks like you're fishing but if you want an actual chair there and um, that you can sit down and make one maybe you can put a, a chest there so from this point you can do your fishing and stuff and you can see your friend from over there at this side we want to close this up so we crouch down like this and as you can see you can still get underneath there perfectly fine now we're going to start on the roof um, in fact we'll do this first we'll get these we need some kind of support pillars so we crouch down we want it underneath this one here so if I close that you can kind of see where it is so we've got one there and let's put another one under here you probably have one supporting here now you can't get underneath this bit so to get in you're gonna have to go around like that but for how it looks I kind of like it so yeah there you go so we've got that all open plan and done we've done that let's before we go on to the roof let's actually work on the little garden area so we're gonna count one two three four five starting from that pillar and one two three four starting from this pillar join it together adding some grass in there I mean if you don't want grass just by the window you can fill it up like that and then just round the, the side of it we're just gonna put some half slab just going round to this point here like that so we kind of got our little garden area it looks nice we've got our lanterns there and stuff so you can put a lantern underneath there so it kind of lights the place up a little bit and uh, wherever you feel the lanterns would look good and um, yeah and obviously you can put your um, water sauce there you can grow some sugar cane or simply if you just want to have like a little farm there or if you just want to put flowers there for something different you can do that so you can change it around and stuff and if you're wanting like a little chair outside or something like that you could put something like this decorate it make it nice and stuff maybe you could get some pots and stuff so you could get pots get your flowers and just scatter them around the area so maybe you want one here one here maybe one around here you can use different flowers and stuff make it look nice and now on for the roof so the roof is going to be a little bit tricky so we're just going to have to go like this and basically just fill it all in first off if I can get it 
there we go just over the top here and then it's going to be a bit more tricky so we fill the whole top of that and then we're going to have to crouch down if you're in survival like this and we're going to just do a lip going all the way around it just like this like this round to here just going all the way around the building i'm trying to do it so people who are doing this in survival obviously can do it along as well i could fly around and do it but yeah you've got to crouch down do it all the way around here so you should have a one lip going all the way around and it will look awesome trust me and then for the inside so as you can see we've done that it's got a nice one lip going all the way around overlapping and stuff and we can do the same for here as well so we can put these across here first off we want these first six seven eight nine and then we're going to put a one lip on these as well so you can get down outside like this around like that and then across here because we've left that little gap there we should be okay and then around here as you can see i've got like a little bush just for this little bit here but you can obviously add some bushes around say if you wanted a bush here or something like that and then put like a thing around decorate it a little bit more put some flowers outside and stuff and some pots with some different flowers in like that make it nice make it your own you know then in here i'm just going to give you a quick tour of what i've done it's just super simple really you've got your bed all the way at the end here i've just decided to put a broom stand with a block and a trapdoor and then obviously our furnace and then we've got a crafting table and then what i did here is i made like a little floor so i'm going to show you in this one so you can kind of see how i did the floor at least like this so we want a floor starting on this level so like that and then we're going to have to go up a little bit more like this so once you've got your ladder let's get a ladder here if i can find it it's here somewhere there we go and have this going up here you can dig down into the ground now this is where we're going to have our base underneath the ground obviously um i'm not doing the base today but i'm kind of giving you ideas what you can do you put put that there and that over there so you can get up into this area and get in here like that but if you want a bit more headspace what you can do is you can have this raised a little bit more so you can have this just across the top in fact you could leave it open plan like that i've just left it like that which is perfectly fine you can have it like that or you can have this here as well so you obviously need to get into this little area here so i've decided to put a little stair there you can do them completely different this one's a bit more higher and as you can see this one over here is a bit more lower so we've got that low that there that's working nice and then obviously the door i did it down here so i put the door too high on that one so like that obviously have that close like that and you could probably fit the door in and have these at even lower level so you could have it going across here just these two and then this point will be higher so you've just got enough there kind of like that so you can change around what you think would look good but something like that and then you can keep the roof on then if you've lowered it all but yeah you can mess around with it until it looks good to you and that's what it's all about i'm just kind of giving you the template so like that and then we can grab our door and obviously you can do the same on the front here so you can have the door from the inside or the outside whichever you choose to keep the mobs out like that and then you go in here you need this lower area here because maybe you'd want to put some um, furnaces or something like that get some furnaces around there you can still use those because of the top ceiling you could have some chests here as well so you can use those keep it super simple it's just kind of like a little mining area and yeah as i say put the bed there i'll just show you the downstairs here yeah so at the side i've just got the furnace a little uh, trapdoor there crafting table brewing stand 
and then this goes down into a mine or something so you can maybe do that so that's how you get into your mine and then yeah you've got your bed and then you can always expand it and you can actually join all these together so say that you wanted this house to go into this house you can maybe take out a little bit here and just kind of like just kind of get creative with it just kind of bring this all the way over to here and then you could have like this turn in here to go into this area so I'm just kind of giving you some ideas here of what you could do so you could remove that and then you can start expanding your property so that goes on to here maybe you could remove these bushes just so it fits into that little bit there like that and then you've got kind of like a little village and then you can obviously put this across the top as your roof and then you've got both houses joined and then you can join your friend who lives in the other house let's have a look see how this looks we're gonna have to uh, get it on here so you can use this as an extended balcony like this so you've got that bit there and you can even do what you've done here but crouch down and then start expanding like this you know get it on like that going all the way around remove that one so you've got that it ends here and maybe you can put these on here and then you can get into this building from this area as well so you've got like different ways that you can go about it you know you can even use these to where uh, go up in some areas it doesn't necessarily have to be all the same well, let's see let's get it there there across here and stuff so you've got this so you can kind of use it for outside and stuff you can put some stuff here do you know what I mean you can keep adding to it and then you can turn it into a whole little village where it's all connected and stuff like that uh, but obviously inside I'll show you what it's like it's just a tiny little tunnel basically and if you need more room out of the floor you could have the floor in like this so it kind of goes down at this point and then you could fill in the floor from here if you want a bit more headroom so there's always ways to expand it and make it your own so we've got this going into here like this and then obviously we've got this bit here or you can get in by a different area make a bit more room around here let's get a little stair going up here and then you could have this bit going into here and uh, instead of that being a bed it can be something else but you kind of get the idea of what I'm trying to go for here and obviously down here where we've got this you just fill it in and stuff but you can also expand at the back as well so if you wanted to expand the property back here you could then start digging back there and have more uh, room and stuff I'll just fill this little bit off but hopefully you got a little bit of inspiration from this of how you can connect different houses and stuff and you've got your own survival start house as well so yeah you can do all that you can have these bits up here and then leave some bits open sometimes you have to remove that to do that have that to there this is when it gets tricky so you're gonna have to like have it from here so it like opens up and have different areas here let's crouch down um, so for something like this this would be a bit more tricky so we'll crouch down like that to there and then maybe can we have it going from here so we can turn it up like that and just have the one turned up like that and you have like little holes and stuff but that's fine you can kind of take little holes out so it kind of like looks that way do you know what I mean but yeah you get the idea you can do that sort of stuff and uh, yeah but from the outside it kind of looks awesome you can have little windows there as well so it doesn't look as plain you can have little windows here and then of course you could add like bush around the area make it look a little bit more organic like this 
and yeah I think you've just now got a tiny little city and you just keep adding to it really and if you don't like this bit you can just take it all off and leave it all kind of plain just to give you some more ideas maybe you like it there and then you want it different at the other side so you can just kind of experiment with some ideas yourself that you feel would work so say if you didn't have the windows here in that one there and then you could have like a little fence going across here like this and maybe for this bit so it joints a little bit better you could have a block so it kind of blocks it off makes it look a bit more legit so there you go so like this we've got this bit going down and stuff you can have these raised up turn that into a block turn that into a block there and you just kind of keep working at it until it looks the way that you want it to look so like that make it a little bit more messy you could have these coming out with lanterns on each one so you could get your lanterns for lighting it up around the area you can have it one high you can have a massive one so there you go so hopefully you got a little bit of inspiration from this but yeah I think it looks pretty damn good so hopefully you enjoyed this video I've got some more videos coming very very soon but I'm trying to do some more survival starter houses and some more small medium projects for now just while I kind of start growing again and then I'll start doing the massive ones again so if these start getting more hits and stuff yeah you get the idea but yeah I kind of like that you can have some boats and stuff obviously to make it look a bit more interesting have some boats around the area like this and then you've got a little village and obviously you can do that all the way around you can change the colors and stuff to it but i think that looks pretty awesome you've got kind of like a little sea village so yeah almost did to sign out catch you in a bit bye